Welcome back everyone! Today I wanted to put my physics career into use and calculate the size of the Animal Crossing world. And you may think, oh, with a smart paint, uh, but it's freaking simple. It's the astrogonometry, the one that you learn in 15, I think, or so. Maybe with a little bit of Taylor series and a spark of, of coding, but that's all. Is this of any use? Please, this is YouTube. Everything is completely useful and productive. Let's begin with the basics. If you have played the game, you've seen how things disappear in the horizon when you move around the town, and the physicist inside me guessed that there was a way to calculate the size of the world, and I did it. First, I had to think about the units. Uh, I thought that we could use the character as the reference, assuming that he is a medium-sized human and that he runs at a normal speed. And if you tell me that the character is a child, we should take two nook to jail for child laboring. We are always in debt within that thing is f***ing Then I had to look for something that disappears in the horizon when you walk, and I thought about trees, because they are everywhere, but there was no way of estimating reliably the size of the trees, or at least I didn't come up with one. But in the last game, you can place things all over your town, so I contacted my brother and asked him if he could help me with this, and he accepted, so he cleaned his island, and we started recording. In order to make the calculus easier, I needed an object that was the exact size of the character, and we thought about another character, but if it was an NPC it would move, or it would require to have friends. So, with... <laughs> so then he found this torch, which was barely higher than the, than the character, so it was perfect. Once the torch was placed somewhere he could run downwards uh, without hitting anything until the torch disappeared in the horizon, the test could start. Also, I thought that making these two holes in the ground would give us a better idea of when to stop the timer, so it was time to start running. Now the fun part begins. Let's do math. Please stay in the video, I know you, you are traumatized since high school, but I promise it'll be quick. This is a representation of a slice of the world where R is the radius of the world, H sub C is the height of the character, blah does in this case because he's always down for some science and that's cool, and H sub T is the height of the torch. Oh, and S is the distance that we run. Now, the green radius is where the blue line, the line of vision of the player, is tangent to the surface, and due to both heights being equal, uh, the angles alpha sub t and sub c are the same. The velocity is constant, so this is true. This is true suppose in a circle, and alpha is the sum of both angles, but they are equal, so this ends up like this. These are coordinates, checking the center of the world as the origin, taking into account the definition of the equation of a straight line, and combining these two things, we obtain this. Arranging a little, and this is the equation of the tangent, the blue line which is what we see as players. If we take now the coordinates of the point P and introduce them in the equation, we obtain this. We rearrange and obtain this. We almost have it. The only thing left is alpha. In order to simplify this, we apply our beloved Taylor series, which give us a polynomial, and the equation becomes this. And taking this condition into account, we can get R as the only variable. We make some math and obtain this expression, which is not a simple equation to solve, so we use some coding. Ooh, yeah, nerd stuff. Ooh, two lines cross, that must be the solution. So, the radius is around 10.4 meters, which is quite small, actually. I mean, it's obviously smaller than the Earth, but the thing is that the island is bigger than the whole world itself. 
Anyway, um, I guess that's it. Now you know the radius of the Animal Crossing's world, so the title of the video is answered. Now, this calculus is 100% translatable to the real world, but... To do so, we have to look for a place long and plain enough for an object to disappear. In this case, the sea. And the object will be a boat. Oh no, I don't know the size of the boat. Nor its velocity. Actually, the ship was not even close to the horizon, but the atmosphere was not clear enough. So I came here to ask someone to participate in the most important science experiment ever. Let's look for a sailor who wants to tell me the size and velocity of his boat. And who is willing to sail to the horizon. Hi, uh, may I ask you something? something? What is it? Uh, could you sail to the horizon and come back? Ah, uh, uh, all right, sorry. In any case, this implies a lot of things, like the shape of the world not being a sphere, for example, which I think I leave for another video. So please consider liking this video and, um, and subscribing and all that stuff and, and sharing it if you think that someone could find this interesting. Also, huge shout out to my brother. You can find him on Twitch with the name of Tyrell Ty Tyrell. That's it. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.